Hey guys, Skeleton Hunter here. Welcome to Halloween. It's not Hall Halloween yet. I've got a candle. <laughs> Welcome to Inside the Deep Web. Okay, what the? Why is this too loud? Why is this so loud? I did not turn this up this loud. Oh my god. Mo just hung in the. Okay. Not that I'm complaining, it is a Halloween Simpsons episode. Treehouse of Horror. But anyway. Now that that's over with. Let me hook this to my pants. Alright. I'm doing this with the light of my candle. Which is just battery operated. Don't worry. this deep web the candle went out give me a second there we go all right so it shouldn't it dimmed hang on let me fix it there we go so it shouldn't go out again all right just just screw the candle all together. Just kidding. Look, you are already accumulated hidden files. You can find hidden files faster by improving your efficiency of your actions. Wanna see? <laughs> I think this game is a little boring. What would you guys say to me reading a scary story instead? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, never mind. Okay, I selected...
Um, a child's eyes. That sounds like a good one. Every child fears under their bed. If they don't, they fear the closet or or in the almost closed door. Scientists know that children are more perceptive. They see things adults don't. They aren't yet tethered into only accepting what society wants them to accept. It is truly there. They see. If you were to borrow a child's eyes and see through them for a night, you would go insane to be able to see what you only dimly remember, burrowing into your covers while wearing those train pajamas, hoping to God you can barely comprehend that it doesn't see you back would drive an adult crazy. Because adults forget the rules. One, cover yourself. Even if you can't see, it can't see you. If it may, even if it makes it harder to breathe. Jeez. Don't make a noise. Every whimper can lead to destruction. Don't move. It Only light can make them go away. Brightly. Flash lights make it worse. Teens are caught in the middle. They still feel they're there, but they cannot see and they forget the rules. Why do you think there are so many insomniacs typing at their computers, subconsciously praying the light from their monitor will be enough to keep them away? It's not. Now look behind you with a child's eyes, and try not to scream. The Homeless Man Somewhere in New York City, there is an old homeless man missing both his legs. From the knees down, whose spot along the streets is the corner of Lexington and East 21st near Grand Mercy Park. Approach him after nightfall. Give him some change. No pennies, no dimes. And ask him, what did you see on the other side? He will then tell you all about his travels to other realms and times where he lost his legs. How he lost his money. It is up to you whether to believe him or not. But you listen and you'll find yourself being drawn in with every story. You must stay alert, or the old man will notice your inattentiveness, and with a scowl, he will stop imparting his wisdom. He will chase you as fast as he can, tottering on his limbs. The other reason why you must stay alert is to check the time. Before midnight, you must interrupt him. Do not let him finish. Whatever story he's telling you at the moment, and say, I've heard enough, old man. Good day and good luck. Then walk away. Make at least two left hand turns around the block before going about your business. You must do this because anyone who has stayed to listen past midnight is never seen again. At least, not in this particular plane of existence. This last story is called Don't Open Your Eyes. On the last day of every month, close the blinds or curtains before you sleep. If in the middle of the night you hear tapping noises at your window, don't open your eyes. If you're one of the unlucky ones, you'll hear that pebble sound at your window. It's not a friend. Just keep your eyes shut. The sound will get louder. louder. The tapping will get faster and faster. Don't let your curiosity get the better of you. Don't move. It'll lose its patience. It'll start thumping the window. 
Your windows will shake and shudder, and the noises will only get louder. It will furiously pound at the window and shake the panes. Don't worry, the windows won't break, but for goodness sake, don't open your eyes. No matter how scared you are, no matter how badly you want to scream, pretend like you don't hear. Pretend you're still asleep. After a while, the noises will stop. Don't fall for it. Keep your eyes shut. Try to sleep if you can. Don't get up. Don't open your eyes until the sun comes up. Those who do open their eyes, well, no one really knows what happens. <clears throat> So, that was three scary stories in a game. I'm not gonna start a new series based on that. So, don't be expecting one. But if you liked it, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!